What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 7. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock every single class. Okay, these are all the classes that are available right now. And of course, you want to unlock all of these so you can master the proficiency for all of them on your other characters. So, how do we actually do it? Well, first of all, they are all unlocked via the quest shop. Okay, all of the characters are unlocked via the quest shop. I'm going to stress that because every single Disgaea game, I keep getting people ask me how you unlock certain classes. They're all from the quest shop. Okay. So first things first, let's take a look at some of them because some of them are unlocked by leveling certain weapons. Some are unlocked by having specific classes. Some are unlocked by doing miscellaneous things, okay? A lot of these are going to be different. So pay attention and you'll find out about the one that you want. So the first one is on the hunt. This allows you to create the ranger and the archer. This is the male and the female archer. And to do this, all you need to do is have a character with a weapon mastery level of five or higher with the bow in your party. So what this means is if you go to a character really, really quickly, you look at status, you look at weapon mastery over on the right. You see where the bow and arrow is, where for me it's level 13 on my L character. You simply need that to be level five. Once you have that just go to the quest shop turn the quest in and then you will be able to create those characters next up is the gunner and gunslinger again male and female variants this is the exact same as the archer class the only difference is instead of using a bow you need to use a gun Next up, we have the Ninja and the Kuniochi. This is simply 5000 HL. All you need to do, okay, is accept the quest and then turn it in as long as you've got more than 5000 hl you will unlock the classes however you will lose that money but given how easy 5000 hl is to get that's a complete non-issue next up we have loyal blade male samurai and lady samurai this unlocks so this is one of the different ones you need a warrior or a valkyrie and an archer or ranger at rank two or higher in the party so let's talk about this one by going over to the recruiter so what it means by rank two okay first of all this is our warrior and our valkyrie we only need one of these okay and then we need one of these as well by rank two if you see the stars on the top right okay that is rank one that is rank two we need to create a two star unit and when i say create i mean actually create them you need to have them in your party okay just maxing out a class proficiency for example like here just maxing it out there will not work you need to actually create the unit Welcome to the okay shop. now on to the next one so we've just done the samurais also do this one asap okay this is super important for a later class next up we have the male armonite and the female armonite you need to turn in armor with 300 defense or higher now honestly 300 defense is really not a lot and i think you can actually just buy that yeah you can easily just buy that from the actual store you won't be able to buy it that early i don't think uh, as soon as you actually gain the build to pass but again you know just speed through the story and you'll be able to turn it in super super quickly anyway so that one is also a non-issue but what that one is is basically male and female armonites next up we have the sorcerer get attacked over 100 times by an enemy just accept this one as soon as you can and you'll unlock this eventually if you really really want to farm it just go to stage one one with a character that does not count it like a mage for example and just keep ending your turn you'll get it eventually Next up, we have the Maiko. This is probably the one that is going to confuse people the most. In order to unlock this class, you need to turn in an Angel Cake. Now, there is only one... Well, technically, there's two ways to get the Angel Cake, okay? And they both freaking suck. So, the first way okay is you can actually get it from the martial gohara stage the final trial however that is extraordinarily rare this is how i actually got it on the japanese version of the game at the start of the year but that took me well over 500 clears of that stage to get even one of them the chance is so ridiculously low 
The other way of doing it, okay, is going into the item world. It doesn't matter what item you go in. It doesn't matter the rank of the item, the level, the rarity does not matter. What you want to do is you want to go into the item world. And by the way, this will be the best way of getting the angel cake. Go into an item world, just change the current route to the mystery room route, and eventually you will come across a mystery room that has a shop NPC in there. One of these shop NPCs will end up selling the angel cake. Now, yes, it can be a little bit rare to get that shop. However, those are the only two ways to get the angel cake. Next up, we have Magic Knight. Give out 1,000 mana from the juice bar. If you're using Hospital Gotcha, 1,000 mana is going to be ridiculously easy. Just give 1,000 mana to any character, doesn't matter, and then you can turn that in. Next up, we have the Psychic. Turn in a gun with 300 or higher hit. This is the exact same as the male and female armor knight, only instead of using an armor, you're just using a gun. You're going to get this very, very easily. Then we have the Professor. Again, same thing, turning glasses with 300 or higher int. If you are using the hospital gotcha, you'll probably get these from that. Next up, we have Mecha Girl. And yes, you are going to be making this for your item world runs. In order to create this, you need a samurai, armor knight, and a psychic at rank 4 or higher in the party. So remember what I said about the samurais, how you actually need to create a warrior or valkyrie and an archer or ranger at rank two and then have them you know actually available to use you need to do the same with mecha girl so you need a samurai an armor knight and a psychic at rank four and again you need to have them so they appear in this list okay as long as you have those four cl uh, those classes available you will then be able to turn this bill in and create the mecha nah, uh, sorry the mecha girl and again make this so you can speed run the item world okay next up celestial hostess exact same thing as the mecha girl and the samurai the only difference is the classes need to be sorcerer maiko and professor at rank four or higher now we're on to monsters. Monsters are going to be vastly different to human characters. First of all, there's the feline. This is something you'll get as soon as you unlock Suisun, pretty much. But you just need to have a character with a monster weapon level of 5. Same as the gunner and the archer. After that, we have the Sea Angel. Turn in 10 Angel Cakes. This is a massive, massive translation error, okay? This completely screwed me over during my playthrough. It is not 10 Angel Cakes. In order to complete that quest, all you need to do is go to the general store and buy 10 healing items. That's literally all you need to do. Okay, you do not need angel cakes for it. It's just 10 healing items. And it took me forever to figure that one out. But at least now that I have, hopefully you guys will not get screwed over by the horrible translation in this game. Next up, we have the Flora Bees. Turn in 10 SP extracts from the juice bar. Super, super easy. Just accept and turn in the quest and you'll get it. Then we have Zombie Maiden, which is just the Zombie Maiden, sorry. All that is, is the uh, the Jiho, well, it's called Jiho in the Japanese version. It's that little girl character that has the arms up, basically. Defeat over 100 characters from enemy forces. As soon as you make a mech, uh, mecha girl, or you'll get this going through the story normally anyway. So that one's incredibly, incredibly simple. Then we have the Socky Boss, which is turn in strange feelers with rarity of rare or higher. So there's a couple of ways you can get this, okay? And they both involve Neverworld sightseeing. So if you go to the Dimension Guide, and then while you are on a stage, okay, go to episode three and press square so you can actually visit and walk around the area in this area there's going to be a general store and you can buy the strange feelers at the correct rarity from there making it super easy to actually get that okay next one actually let me just load up the quest board 
right so next one we have is the evil eye turn in a secret scroll this can be any secret scroll whatsoever you can create this easily go to the dark assembly pass the build that allows you to create secret scrolls and then just create any evil t secret scroll from any character and then you can recruit evil eye next up is promised spear which is a horseman you need to turn in a spear with a rarity of legendary or higher this one isn't actually that difficult to get you probably won't get this from the hospital rewards but as you start going through the item world you'll super easily be able to get one or you could also use the neverworld research oh excuse me hiccup sorry about that you can even use the neverworld research and you can get legendary spears from there very very rarely you can also get them as rewards from normal stages but again any spear just a legendary super easy to do Next up, we have a dragon. Defeat a level 100 or higher dragon. You'll get this naturally as soon as you go into the item world in, you know, your first rank 39 or rank 40 item, even before land a carnage. Next up, we have the pincer shell. Turn in premium crab brains. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Firstly, you can get this from the same NPC shop in the item world that you can actually get the Micro's angel cake from. However, there is an even easier way of doing this, okay? The easiest way to get the premium crab brains is if you actually go to the uh, episode 6. So go to Neverworld Sightseeing, so press square while highlighting that. Now, I've already done this quest, so it's not going to be visible. However, one of these crabs, actually it might be this one. Yeah, it's that one. Uh, all you need to do is speak to him and he will have it as a reward all you need to do is give him a gold bar and gold bars are super easy to get you'll get them as rewards quite often once you actually get that as a reward just turn it in as normal or as i say you can get it from the item world shop npc as well okay next one once we get there where are we okay so there's pincer shell okay so next one is rifle demon level 100 or higher character in the party you will absolutely get that naturally don't worry then we have the final one big eye find a big eye hidden somewhere in the hinimoto neverworlds this one's actually really really easy and you can do this as soon as you get the bill all you need to do is sight c okay in stage five it's either going to be stage five or... Wait, no, it is just five. Yeah, it's just stage five. Okay, so... What's the stage seven? Hang on, let me have a quick look at stage seven. It might be stage seven. It's either five or seven. No, it's not seven. So it's going to be five. All you need to do is go and visit episode five. Again, square on there. Go and look there. It is the casino area. And you will find the big eye hidden right here okay you just need to rotate your camera a little bit if your camera is this way or this way you will not see him he will be hidden in this corner what you need to do is you just need to rotate the camera once more and he will be standing right here all you have to do speak to him and that completes the bill then you just need to leave the area go back to the quest shop and then you can turn the bill in allowing you to create the final character and there we go guys that is how you unlock the ability to create every single character in the game so go out there get them master their proficiency and absolutely destroy everything but though guys that is going to be the end of this video if you want any more guides for disguise 7 definitely check out the playlist down below in the description all my guides are in there ranging from absolutely breaking the game to the more simpler stuff you'll find a video Video for basically everything and if you don't then click the link tree link and join my discord server because i'm super easy to reach there as well so if you have any questions that i've not answered in any of my videos that is going to be the best way possible of getting an answer or likewise you could just drop a comment on the video because not only would you get an answer that way as well but it also super helps out the channel and of course while you're at it make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more content as always though everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you soon